Hey guys, Alex here. On Sunday, I kicked off a new series about wonder. The moments that break us out of our routines and hint at something bigger and more beautiful breaking through into our lives. We talked about how neuropsychologists tell us our lives are a culmination of the, our most impactful memories all lived out at once. But many times we've forgotten the moments of wonder that have made us who we are. And that's where life mapping can be helpful. So today I'm gonna teach you real simply how to map your life to identify moments of wonder. First, set some parameters. For our example, I'm going to use the dates of 2015 to now because 2015 is when I moved to Philly. You could use a five-year period or a 10-year period. If you're gonna do your whole life, you might be there for a while. Second, review some photo logs or journals and make some lists. Sit down and think about where you've been and places that you were. A lot of times I've forgotten some of the places that I've been and some of the people I missed until I start looking at some photographs that jog my memory. Um, when you start making lists, here's the type of list you need to make. Think about the places that you were during this time period. And this can be both places you've lived, places you've visited, impactful trips that you've had, people that you've met that have been impactful, maybe people who just said something to you or people who made you feel a certain way or a random encounter with somebody who changed your direction. Think about the passions that you had during this time. What were you passionate about? What were you excited about? What did you spend all your time and energy thinking about and doing? Also include a list of your pain because many times, even though we didn't talk about it on Sunday, pain can be a moment of change and a moment of finding a new direction. And then I usually put in other lists because sometimes there will be things that stood out to me in that period or even changed direction for me that doesn't fit neatly into any of these other lists. Um, and so you can write that there. Third, start charting a path. And this is just simply you're drawing a little life path and all along you're putting these little dots where something happened or you went somewhere, you encountered something. And I like to draw little icons along the way to kind of um, show me what the little event was. And then I just put a little note next to it. Fourth, after you've got this done, reflect on your journey. What motivated key changes in your direction? What were some of your moments of wonder? Can you see how God was directing your story? I hope that this series has sparked your memory and your imagination, and I hope you're excited to see where we go next.